Holy shit. I'm like 10 off. You're 10 off. Yo. Yo. I'm throwing. <laughs> now nah, we're going to leave it at this. No. 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 I'm losing a no, 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 I'm not losing in my own game. No. No. I'm literally the most epic comeback. I'm not losing in my own game. Fuck you, Eddie. We're getting on. Now. <laughs> If you look at the past videos I've made, most of them happen to be simple bots, or at least they should have been. But for the past three weeks, I really wanted to step it up. And the way to step it up for me was to make a multiplayer game that well, my friends and I can enjoy. And by the way, if you want to actually play it, stick around till the end of the video and I'll show you how to actually download it. My main goal for this project wasn't to make some triple A multiplayer online game or anything like that, just to actually learn the basics of actually making a multiplayer game and also make something that my friends can enjoy. Since this is something that, you know, hundreds of people actually do, uh, this is going to be a pretty hard project for me. And for those who don't, don't know anything about how to make games, don't worry. After eight years, I still don't really know how to make games, but I think I have somewhat of an idea. What I've learned is that there's usually five things that we have to do. We have to have art. Then we actually have to come up with an idea. I cheated on this, more on that later. Third, we need to come up with some programming because how else is the game gonna work? Fourth, we need to connect everything all together so it actually works, it's, it's not just a lump just sitting there. And fifth is to actually get some people to enjoy it. So for the art, I made some quick 3D models inspired by Super Meat Boy and took the art style from Tom and Jerry, the one where they had the blueprint little episode. I don't know, I actually really like how it turned out. Um, I might use this later on because it was just so much fun actually making it. All right, now we actually have to have the idea. An idea was taken from Super Meat Boy and we also took it from Super Smash Bros and we mixed those two together and we get my game. We got some uppercuts and some dashes, knocked the other person off the platform and do you win? Okay, so we actually have the art and the idea done. Now we need to program it. That, that's the toughest part because I have no idea how to actually start. And I didn't want to use Unity's built-in stuff because I thought that was really, really bad. So I wanted to make my own thing, you know, just because I like stuff more complicated and you know, three weeks isn't stressful enough. So what I chose is a client server model. Looking back, I probably shouldn't have done this. I should have changed it around, but it's actually really great to actually learn this. So it doesn't really matter. So how does that actually work? So client A connects to the server and client B also connects to the server. Now, when client A wants to send a message to B, they don't send it right away to B. They actually send it to the server. The server does some little calculations and then sends it back to B. And the reason that we say it's server client is because the server has to authenticate everything that the player is doing. So you don't actually run anything on your computer really. All of it is running on the server. All you're doing is sending the inputs to the server and then the server plays it out and then sends it to the client the other client, like to update the positions or things like that. Okay, now we actually have all the connections. Now, if you've actually played the game, you'll know that, well, it's a little bit laggy. <laughs> and the reason is, is because I chose a TCP connection. The reason is a TCP connection or a TCP packet actually has to go to the server. And what I mean by it actually has to go to the server is that it actually has to get to the server there can't really be any job packets. Just like if you're on a website and you're searching for something, you don't wanna be missing a whole entire image. So you actually have to get that message. And you might be saying, well, that's good, isn't it? Well, not really. It's good in the sense that you actually get the message, but it adds some lag. If we did a different method, what's called UDP, it would've made it seven times quicker. So there wouldn't be really any lag. And the second issue that I had with this is that I actually chose the client server model. If I chose another model, then I would have made it just a lot better. If I made a listen server, that would have been a lot better because client A and client B can actually connect to each other right away instead of having to have a middle point, which is the server. Now there are issues with the listen server. If you've ever played Call of Duty, you know, cause you always have that migrating host, but the strengths for me at least outweigh its weaknesses. Now we're actually done with the programming, so we just have to join everything together. We did that real quickly with Unity, and then we actually have to enjoy it. Okay, now I got some of my friends to actually play it, and it was actually really, really fun. Here it is. Holy shit, I'm like 10 off. You're 10 off. Yo! Yo, I'm throwing! <laughs>
Nah, we're gonna leave it at this. No, 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 I'm you losing it. No, did you not, no, I'm not losing in my own game. I was about to beat you! No, no. I'm gonna make the most epic uh, comeback. No, no, not losing in my game. Not losing in my own game. Fuck you, Eddie. We're getting on. Now, You keep forgetting. Oh my gosh, I swear I get like three deaths every time I die. <laughs> Oh, oh like, I, what did no. I say? What did I say? Oh no. There you go. I'm pushing Zari off. This is easy. Bro, no. I'm freaking pushing myself. Oh my gosh. Oh Wait, my, I'm I so spawned good. like... I'm I spawned so like 10... Whoa. Time this. I'm too mm. good. Oh, I'm so Time good. these nuts. I should oh. go pro. <laughs> oh. oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> no, no. no. Oh no. Oh no. Let's go. Yo, oh my goodness. Go. I'm winning. I'm gonna go pro. No. Tomorrow, Zay, when we wake up, I'm gonna the first things I'm gonna say to you is good morning, Zay. Just a reminder your game sucks. He, he's oh no. Oh what? he won. Let's go. <laughs> I'm gonna go pro. Hey, sorry, sorry, you can play him suck, now. Dude. Eddie, I don't know what you're talking about, bro. I could freaking smack you in any game. Do you understand your <laughs> game? <laughs> <laughs> so as you can tell, the game was buggy. Uh, we found out that if you just jump around, the other person would be so laggy that, well, you couldn't catch him. Uh, so that was an issue. But overall, it was actually really, really fun. If you actually want to install it, you're going to have to go to the link down below. And you're going to have to install a client and also the server. For the server, you unzip it, you run the new Unity project, and the same thing for the client. Now, if you want to play with someone that's not in your house, then what you're gonna have to do is set up port forwarding and that might be going a little bit far for this video. So if you know how to do that, that's great. If not, then you could use something like Engrock, but you could play with anyone in your household. So actually enjoy it. There you go. Uh, that, that was the bad thing with the client server method. Uh, no one could actually really play it outside of their house unless I was hosting the servers. And you know, that costs us a lot with Amazon web services and whatnot. I'm just gonna keep that away from me right now. Okay, now that we've gone on to that big networking rant, uh, if you want the project files, they're down below. So if you want to look at the GitHub and see how I programmed everything, it's down below. Below I put some people that can help you out with TCP connections and UDP connections and whatnot. So there you go, you actually have the multiplayer online game. I enjoyed it, I hope my friends enjoyed it, and I hope you enjoyed it as well. With that being said, uh, we'll see you guys on the next video. Bye bye.